right? I2Q's Intel Information Cyber EW and Space is the is really the convergence of Intel and EW for uh, more informed situation awareness on the battlefield. A shorter time frame between uh, intelligible uh, information and uh, ac and action. Throughout the DoD, there's a major uh, effort to modernize our EW or IQ's capability, and uh, this is being done smartly through open standards. So the U.S. Army is uh, is already awarded several major programs, programs of record that include uh, IQ's systems. Leonardo DRS has a long legacy of uh, building Intel systems as well as EW systems and tactical comms uh, systems, strategic and tactical comm systems. And so we've been able to uh, integrate those capabilities to meet the uh, emerging demand for these I2Q's systems, the multi-domain operations. So okay. those capabilities all come together uh, to, to make uh, a very compelling offering from Leonardo DRS for this uh, new uh, emerging requirement. So in modernizing uh, low swap uh, I2Q's equipment, uh, we're taking advantage of uh, advancements in technology to, to have more radio channels in a smaller space and lower power consumption, which allows us to have uh, more accurate uh, results uh, in, a, in a shorter time frame, faster scanning, for instance. Um, and uh, we we're, we're also have major initiatives in uh, uh, embedded uh, artificial intelligence. So there's less reliance on uh, a tactical comms network. Uh, you can make uh, uh, machine-based decisions at the edge, which take the burden off of the soldier. When the, the services reached out and and look for ways to decrease the time between intel and tactics uh, it was a natural fit for leonardo drs